statistically significant. So when you isolate at both levels and you get a main effect, uh, then you can interpret the main effect as significant. But in the interaction, uh, when there's a significant interaction. And you can interpret the significant interaction as well. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is how do you get these means collapsed across uh, conditions. And this is where I should have clicked uh, on the uh, options and click on overall for gender and clothes. And when I do that, I'll actually get the means collapsed across conditions. And so here is here are the means that I want to look at for gender. So gender of the presenter, 8.3 versus 12.8, and that's collapsed across type of clothes they were wearing. And then we have clothing collapsed across gender. So 9.2 versus 11.9. And so that's how you get those. These are the main effect means. Do I, can I interpret these main effect means? And I can interpret the main effect mean for gender, uh, but I can't interpret the main effect mean for clothing because it wasn't significant at both levels. So I realize this is a lot of information. A lot of people would have stopped a long time ago. Uh, good on you for listening to the entirety of this presentation because I think there's a lot of confusion and misinformation about the interpretation of main effects in the context of interactions that are significant. And those analyses that I did, those follow-up paired sample t-tests, are known as simple main effect analyses. And in, in my opinion, there's a lot of misinformation about uh, how you can use them and what it means to interpret, use them in the context of interpreting main effects. A lot of people use them to interpret interactions, which I find a bit baffling. I'm going to do a separate video on, not particularly specific to SPSS, but a more general video on the interpretation of main effects in the context uh, when there's a significant interaction. Because there is a little bit, another layer of uh, understanding to this, uh, but I don't want to go any further on this video. Anyway, good on you for carrying through, and I hope you enjoyed this and, and found it insightful. Uh, it's complicated, yes, I, but I think once you go through it a couple times, uh, it starts to make sense. So I'll catch you next time.